Welcome to Books in Sum, your go-to for bite-sized book summaries. Magnificent Sex by Peggy J. Kleinplatz and Adana Menard. This book discusses the importance of understanding the qualities that make magnificent sex possible and how to increase your desire by having better sex. It suggests that if bad sex can lower sexual desire, then better sex might just raise it. It also suggests that getting older might make you a better lover and what low sexual desire might be telling you about your sex life. Finally, it suggests that low sexual desire can actually make sense if the only sex you're having is boring or unpleasant, and that the thing that needs attention is the kind of sex that's on offer. The author's research found that extraordinary sex is characterized by a focus on sexual quality, a sense of profound connection with the partner, and the ability to leave worries, concerns, and irrelevant thoughts outside the bedroom. This focus on quality is liberating, as it empowers lovers to feel like they have solid judgment. To boost desire, the sex itself needs to improve, and who better to help with that than extraordinary lovers? The key idea is that during magnificent sex, lovers are focused, connected, and vulnerable, and it is described as 100% engrossing. Additionally, lovers describe feeling like they're bridging a gap or merging during extraordinary sex, making them feel like they've momentarily fused into a single person. In the movies, extraordinary sex is reserved for the young and beautiful, but the authors found that being older might actually make you more likely to enjoy magnificent sex. Their interviews with extraordinary lovers revealed that the nature of the sex they were having changed for the better. As it became more of an exploration and less of a race to get from a to-be maturity plays a key role in this development, as older partners are more willing to take risks, make mistakes, and explore their sexualities in depth. As they change and evolve throughout their lives, their sexual development has never really ended. The most important details in this book are that extraordinary lovers tend to be open, curious, and self-accepting, and that the greatest sexual skills are empathy and communication. Extraordinary lovers also tend to accept themselves as they are, not because their bodies, skills, or sexual preferences are perfect but because they've learned that imperfection is okay. To become an extraordinary lover, it is important to experiment sexually and get to know what you and your partner like, and to be open emotionally, and willing to learn from bad experiences as well as pleasant ones. To improve their sexual skills, extraordinary lovers should practice the kinds of advice and techniques that they would find on the cover of Cosmopolitan magazine. The two most important skills for cultivating magnificent sex are empathy and communication. Empathy refers to the ability to metaphorically enter into someone else and create a sense of connectedness or merging during sex. Communication involves understanding your partner and making yourself understood in turn. It takes guts to tell your lover exactly what you want, what feels good, what you're in the mood for, and what your most private fantasies are. This kind of communication is essential for magnificent sex, as it helps partners stay tuned to each other's desire then adapt to the mood and situation. Additionally, the myth that magnificent sex is reserved for the young is inaccurate, as the extraordinary lovers that the authors interviewed reiterated one thing again and again. Magnificent sex takes planning and effort. Couples who visit sex therapists often say that they want great sex to happen naturally and spontaneously, but this is often not the case. To become a magnificent lover, it is important to focus on cultivating the right qualities, such as being curious and open, communicating and empathizing with your partner, taking risks, being vulnerable, and communicating your deepest fantasies and desires. This requires time and effort, but it can be learned. Actionable advice includes avoiding date night rose petals and preparing the environment for great sex by tidying up the room and putting your kids to bed. We hope you found this summary helpful in your listening journey. If you're interested in diving deeper into the topic or getting your hands on the whole book, be sure to check the description below where we've included links to the book and other related products that may be useful to you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on our latest book summaries. And feel free to leave a comment with any suggestions or requests for books you'd like us to cover. Thanks again for tuning in and happy listening.